Hello everyone, this is Katerina and I welcome you to the 1010 gateway in October that we are entering today and my guide said we are now entering the absolute hot phase and it will bring in light language with specific codes that are super relevant on the 1010 because it's leading us into I would even say a hyper acceleration of our lifetime. Um, we have now the 1010 and on the 6th of um, October Pluto went stationary and going forward again and on that day we had this beautiful new moon which I thoroughly enjoyed. Then today on the 1010 Saturn is going forward again was stationary I believe and then um, I just have to check my notes and then on the 18th of October both Jupiter and Mercury are going forward. So we have to hang in there another eight days, eight days of Mercury retrograde and then the energy goes forward and my guides have very strongly suggested that my monthly activation should be on the 22nd of October and if you add all the digits together it leads to a 10 so it's another 10 10 portal but it's when more of the planets are going forward and they said it's going to give us a bigger boost and um, will help us with our acceleration forward. And what is happening? So we have um, those planets soon going forward then we have the 11-11 um, which is a uh, an ascended galactic master gateway that will have no equals to the years before and I think everything we're experiencing at the moment it's like oh my god it's like never before it's so strong so intense whatever so much more light coming in and I think we will keep hearing that um, from me and other channels where the information is like oh my god it just goes higher and higher and higher and more and more intense and we also um, have the 12-12 portal, then we have a really, really intense eclipse season um, in December. On the 4th of December is the solar eclipse. Then we also have the winter solstice and the Saturn-Uranus last square, which brought the whole huge shift in dynamic in and my guide said um, there are two things happening at the same time and for those of you who are drawn to my messages and resonate with it count yourselves into the camp of the forerunners just to make that very clear so we have say the overall collective where so far still most of humanity is and some of them are in this transitionary period of you know the first stirrings of awakening are working through the system it's like when you um, are in a deep deep slumber you know I don't know if you've had that sometimes you sleep so deeply and it takes a while to come around it's like oh my god who am I where where am I oh my god in this lifetime that reality right okay <laughs> you know and I feel like some of the people are really in that period of like it's been a long slumber and what's happened in the meanwhile so they're waking up so we have those fast asleep we have those just in between and those who are awakened either in super accelerated speed like boom I have not known and then are super quickly going through all the motions of it or those of us who've been on this path for freaking long time which took so much longer to get to this place because the energies weren't so quick and they are saying the majority of the collective they are here to experience the dismantling and the breakdown and the dissolving of 3D reality. So there is a breakdown happening and at the same time and my guides call it the higher collective but that's just in frequency so we are not higher better we just hold a higher frequency and therefore can reach other dimensions more easily. So the general collective is in the destruction, the breakdown and that's taking place. The forerunners, those of you who resonate with this video on these frequencies, you are in the camp of you're building the new, you're bringing the new in. So they are saying um, the more clarity you have around that, don't focus on the destruction. It's unstoppable, it's happening. For some it's too quick, for some it's not quick enough, it doesn't really matter, it's taking place. And then on the other camp you have those with this is where we're bringing in the new and they're saying 
um, in order to keep our focus on bringing in those higher light codes, it's um, celebrate each and every breakthrough, your personal breakthrough, those near and dear to you, even if they're in the slumber mode and they're just about to see what's there, celebrate that, celebrate that first stirring of awakening um, or when friends or family have breakthroughs where you're like, wow, I didn't think that's going to happen. And they are saying the more we focus on those achievements of what's already taking place, the more our focus is, oh, I've seen something of new earth or I felt today more connected than usual. That is really our benchmark. And the more we focus on that, you know, what we focus upon, we attract more of. And that's also the reality we align ourselves with. And my guides have said with this super hyper acceleration we're in now till at least till Christmas, the oh no, Saturn Uranus thingy um, square is on the 24th of December. So that's really, um, it's almost like what I'm seeing It's you know, when the tension is the greatest just before the breaking point where it's like ready to snap. And that's what I feel that is around Christmas and there's loads and loads of Christ light going to come in far more galactical frequencies. So and my guide said to me um, by preparing for the video, um, in order for that enormity of light to come in and for us to even be receptive to it and rather than totally overwhelmed, that's why we have that incredible super blast, that ramp up of energies so we can um, clear our inner pathways of the old and be able to hold that new light. And my guides also really strongly pointed out and it came through because my um, neighbor in their house, they cleaned the windows very excessively. And I thought, I've never seen them clean their windows. And I thought, what's the message? And I said, Karina, there is a message because I was so drawn to watching them. That's bizarre. Um, signs and synchronicities, you know, they happen for all of us. And um, they were saying it's really important that we keep clearing our vision. And because when our old perception falls away, also our old programs, our old conditioning, it's almost like recalibrating. So what's now true for me in this moment with this new awareness? And it asks us constantly to readdress even um, situations where we had a very strong viewpoint about before and now we may look at it from a more expanded place and um, I mean you know in my last video I spoke about my sacred journey being down in Cornwall and Glastonbury in Thatcher, St. Nectan's Glen, all these magical places and St. Michael's Mound. And I have this strong, strong connections with the dolphins now. I always had a link, but now it's super amplified. And I see that in my client sessions as well. And it's like, what's happening? What's, what's taking place? And um, my guides said in the monthly activation, you know, I've always wondered what is when you combine, say, light and love? in equal measure and the dolphin said to me, Karina, tra, that's joy, you know, and dolphins are that perfect balance between light and love. They're absolute harmoniously aligned in that way. And they said to me, that's their way of how they've been able to override our 3D reality for eons of time because dolphins hold fifth, sixth dimensional energy um, all the time. And they already live in unity. And I thought, so how, how does that work? Because in 3D reality, the polarity is really between light and dark, say the, the outmost polarity. And then there's, um, if you like, a higher polarity in 5D and the polarity is then between light and love. And that creates joy and unity. So from that place, you can't even yeah, you can if you go back into your old 3D program. We thought, no, I can still go there. Um, but that's the old remnant. So from that place, you automatically look for the greater good. And the dolphins are coming in so strongly because they're saying we, the forerunners, are now ready for their teachings. We are now ready to receive their teachings of joy, of unity, of their co-creation. Both, um, say, a pot of dolphins, dolphins overall, 
and dolphins on a multidimensional level. And dolphins are amazing teachers when it comes to unity, co-creation and also multidimensionality. So I'm really, really looking forward to the activation on the 22nd of October because I know the dolphins are going to come in. I will receive more in-depth teachings from them that I can't wait to share with you. And I'm so curious <laughs> what it's going to entail. And by then we also um, have the full moon in Taurus. I think it's on the 20th or 21st of October and the full moon always has three to four days of maximum resonance and it's in Taurus that's grounding, aligning, anchoring. So it's helping us while we are in this fast forward accelerated movement to have that grounding energy present to really be able to hold that higher light. And now um, I will not bore you anymore with my information. Um, let's bring some light language in and see um, what codes are going to stream in for all of us today on the 1010. If you would like to, you can close your eyes, hold your hands over your heart while I'm bringing the light language in. Greetings, dear ones. We just wish to say our presence is felt throughout the multi dimensional realms. We are now here to present ourselves, our joy, our gift for all willing and open hearts. And we have chosen to speak in the human language. So this message truly reaches your heart, mind and consciousness fully. We are easily accessible to you. And you may wish to let go of the idea we are animals. We are a highly evolved consciousness that has chosen a body that is living in the waters. And you may find loads of research about our capacities, that we have two halves of our brain that can operate independently. If you look upon this, you will find that we are highly evolved and that we have many valuable teachings to bring you. But we do not wish to take over this transmission. Just open your hearts to receive our blessings from the Dolphin Collective. Mewa <laughs> Sanamaha, 
blessed be so water be and so it is wow i'm always so full on concentrating of the energies as well as the information that's coming in and um, the elven wanted to speak directly as well and i said you know i memorize what's coming in because there's several others <laughs> it's like otherwise it will be a spoken transmission so the elven were saying please make use of these beautiful energies today if you can go out in nature sit in the sunshine i mean for now we have moments of sunshine in the north of england and there are really precious moments because it's been a really cold and rubbish summer um, the alvin are saying the more you enter that playfulness like the dolphins are describing you know that innocence the more you open up to perceiving them in nature too and while i was in the lake district on the new moon um anchoring and receiving those beautiful expanded codes the alvin kingdom was reconnected with the solar consciousness so with the golden solar beings they met the alvin wow getting emotional again and it is this meeting of heaven and earth and that's possible for all of us to really allow ourselves to multi-dimensional really all aspects that we have in various realms or in our heart simply by opening our heart to those possibilities we can link with them and experience that coming together of heaven and earth the Divine Feminine um, in form of Venus, Mother Mary, um, was very strongly to allow a healing to occur. And I myself drew this card um, of a beautiful deck um, from Lian and Mikia, the Star Child Oracle. I absolutely love um, that deck and it's really giving you so many tools to traverse these accelerated times um, I can put the information in the video below as well um, and that healing energy is really strongly accessible for us today so if there's anything you wish to release you can just ask um, in your heart may whatever no longer serves me now dissolve for the highest and greatest good with love sometimes it can be that easy or um, you gaze into a candle and release it in this way um, we had the whale energy and i was trying to get this really deep resounding frequency in and i think because i'm female there's sometimes a limitation to what my voice is capable of um, but the whales are here and the whales at the moment i feel are more here to help us with reassurance to feel like we got this you know it may be all wobbly on the surface but we got this you know we, we get through this to the other side um and what else was taking place um the elven the divine feminine the galactic is really joyful and expressive the golden solar beings um yeah and really holding that space for you that um, magic and miracles can occur and i really look forward to all of you who wish to join me on the 22nd of october the other 1010 portal for a boost of your energy multi-dimensional alignment teachings of the dolphins um the alvin i'm sure will come the high councils are really active and i wish you all a fabulous um, 1010 portal a wonderful sunday and bright blessings on your path and th all the best. thank you so much for all the comments and for sharing the video it means so much to me and i'm so glad it resonates with you all right brightest blessings to you